Hi everyone, my name is Anya and I want to share today this one hairstyle that I've been doing for the last like 10 years and it has not failed me. So I have my hair blow dried right now. I washed it, I blow dried it, I did put conditioner in it. My hair is wavy naturally so if I don't blow dry it, it's going to look like very bumpy. So anyways, I have it blow dried. I blow dried it with a round brush. I used this right here, the Iron Guard by Chi, the Barbie edition, and I got this obviously because it's pink and I love pink. So this I sprayed right before blow drying my hair at the ends of my hair. Next I have Volume Booster. I rarely use this product. This is also by Chi. I spray it into my hands, rub it in my hands, and I run it in my roots before I blow dry my hair. And I'll do this before an event because this will give me a lot more volume. Do not spray this directly into your roots because you will see after you blow dry, it's gonna be very crusty and crunchy. Another thing is if you don't have a volumizing booster, and you can find this by the way, um, I'll leave a link in the description box below. Or if you, you can buy this probably at a Marshalls or TJ Maxx, just an FYI. If you have mousse, that will also work very well. Apply this to your hair before blow drying to your roots, just a small amount. The mousse I have right here is the Herbal Essence and it is the number three and it smells so, so good. I love this mousse. And then I'll be using this hairspray, Tresemme. It is the number four. So the hairstyle that I'm showing you, um, I called it the Taylor Swift curls. That's what me and my friends called it when we were growing up. I'm sure there's another name for it. We were obsessed with Taylor Swift and everybody wanted to know how she did her curls and that's just the name I stuck to and I call it till this day. So I'm gonna start off by dividing my hair in half. If you want to, you can literally divide your hair into three parts depending on how much hair you have. Sometimes I'll divide my hair into three parts if I want, if I'm, if I'm going to like an event and I want to have like more volume. So for now though, I'm just going to do two parts. All right. Try not to clip your hair all the way up here, especially after you just blow dried your hair. You're going to get this bump here that you can't get rid of and you're going to have to straighten it out after. So here's the curler I'm going to be using. It's the Conair Curler. I have not found a wand that I like. So I just use this, but I don't open this part up. I believe this is an inch. What I'll do is I'm curling away from my face. It, this entire time, I'm just gonna be curling away from my face. This is how simple it is. So what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna put your curl over here. You're gonna start like that and wrap the hair around. Now be careful, don't burn your fingers. I've been doing this for so many years, but if you want, buy some gloves. There are certain gloves that will protect your fingers from getting burnt. So anyways, I will probably leave this for about like 10 seconds and then I'll let it out. And there we go. All right, same thing, you see? Placing the curler here. My hair is right there and I'm I'm curling away. We're doing this, alrighty. I'm gonna speed up this part of the video and finish curling this side. Now I'm gonna hairspray it. Okay, and then this side. Next, what I'm gonna do is you have a scrunchie, just ponytail this back. I'm gonna actually leave the front for the end. I'm gonna start curling from the back. And same thing, I'm literally just curling away from the face. So I'm gonna show you one more time how I do it. So here's a wand. Here's my wand. Here's my curler. And then we're gonna curl away. Away. All right, so again, putting it right in the back of our strand here and curling away from our face. Well, that didn't help. So I'm gonna curl a little bit more and speed this up and then um, show you how I curl these. So 
for my entire head, I brought the curler pretty close to my roots, maybe like half an inch away and then I would start curling. But when it comes to the front pieces of your hair, my advice is don't start too close. You want to be a little bit further down. How much is that? That's about an inch, right? I'd say an inch, inch and a half, depending on how you like your hair to lie. And this part is important because this is what's going to shape your face. So instead of like going all the way up here like I was with the rest of my hair, I'll go a little bit lower. I will curl up a little bit like that and then I'll leave it there and let go. Boom! Next. Then I'll go up a little bit, down, up, down, curl right here a little bit and then let it go. Boom! Perfect. So I'm gonna hairspray this part now. <coughs> I'm gonna let down my hair in the back. And this is what it looks like. This is just like my favorite way to do curls. And right now it looks very bouncy, but I'm telling you throughout the day, it's gonna get softer and go down, but it's still gonna look so nice and wavy. Let me show you from the back. I don't know. I'm not sure how I do the back this time, but this is how it looks. This is how it looks. I don't know if there's a strand I missed. Let me know. Maybe I did. <laughs> you can style it, put it into like a little bun. This type of curl, it holds so freaking well. And even if it doesn't look curly in the end, it's gonna end up looking like a very nice beach wave. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you want to see more, definitely subscribe. And let me know what other kind of videos you guys want to see. Thank you so much for watching. Love you guys. See you later.